So I asked D because he said years ago, and you had an opinion too about like uh, classic rock bands that don't have all the same uh, members that they're just cover bands. So I asked D about. I mean, I know GNR's kind of got back together a little bit, but the Rose and Rose comments when it was just Axel and company. So I guess I kind of want to know your feelings in Guns N' Roses and where they are now and, and how they reunited with with Slash, but it's really not quite the same. So I just wanted to get your opinion on that. Well, unlike D, I'm not as um, rigid. If the public buys it, that's all that matters. Okay. If they don't buy it, then that's what matters. So you can go out there, and if you're selling something that doesn't live up to what the public believes in, then you're uh, you're out of business, you know? And yet, if you've figured out a way to do it, and you're still in business, then more power to you. I just, look, life is hard. It's hard in every way for everybody. And being a musician and an entertainer is really hard, you know? You can't take it lightly if you have some success. And if you and if the public buys it, who am I to say? I mean, seriously, I'm not trying to be like Pollyannish. I'm not trying to be like Kumbaya-ish about it. But at the end of the day, if you're selling a product based on a certain level of nostalgia and you don't live up to it, then you'll know because the public will say no. Mm. But if the public comes back, I mean, and who hasn't been affected? I mean, my God, if you look at the, if you look at the Mount Rushmore of rock, which is Beatles, Stones, Who's Up, Floyd, Queen, I, I kind of look at them and ACDC. That, that's a Mount Rushmore, okay, right, of rock right there. I mean, the Beatles obviously have Paul and Ringo because John's gone, George is gone. You know, Zeppelin has chosen not to go back because they can't do it. But you know, you had Jason Bonham filling in. You know, the Who you've got two members, and and from all from all reports, they're doing great. They sound amazing. Uh, you know, these bands change people all the time. You know, you go to see the Eagles. They're not my favorite act, but, you know, they give their fans what they want. You know, I mean, sure, it takes 55 guys on stage to replicate Hotel California. <laughs> but if you want that shit, you know, if you want it, they give it to you. The only major band that does suck live is the Rolling Stones. And, and they're awful. I mean, you know, and the Stones fans don't clap between songs. They're afraid the lights will go on in the arena. So the bottom line is. is <laughs> wow. Okay.